Hi, my name is Isabel. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to sew this skirt. For today's project, we're going to be using some rib knit fabric. Mine is a heavy one that's got some synthetic fibers in it with elastan. I don't know the exact composition because I bought it at a dead stock fabric shop. If you want to do the same project, you should use some knit fabric with a stretch in it. It doesn't have to be rib fabric necessarily. Just make sure that the fabric is opaque and has a nice drape. You'll need some elastic band as well, two to four centimeters wide, depending on how thick you'd like your waist to be. And now let's move on to the paper pattern. So to make the skirt, I'll use another pattern of mine which is that of the Aurelius skirt. It is a pattern for woven fabrics. It features dots, facings, a zipper, um, which is not at all what I want to do today. I want to make a knit skirt and all these elements will be ignored because this is what a stretchy material will allow me to do. I'm going to ignore the darts because I plan on adjusting the waists uh, during an upcoming fitting session. However, I plan on adding an elastic band at the waist. I thought, for some reason, I had a 2.5 centimeter wide elastic band. So considering that there already is one centimeter of seam allowance included in the pattern, I made here the waistline higher by only 1.5 centimeter. I'm also going to remove three centimeters of the four centimeter hem allowance and I'll cut the size in 36. Here are the two pieces cut. They look the same, but they aren't entirely. The back is just a little bit bigger. I'll lay the two parts on each other right sides together and also with a basting stitch. So a straight stitch, but your longest stitch length possible. We're making temporary seams here because I know I'll have to adjust things up. That's for sure. So there we go. And now I'll try to skirt on. Fitting. All right. It looks like nothing. Uh, it's too big. No shape. It's almost disheartening to be honest. This is not what I want at all. This is more what I want. So I'll try the skirt again inside out. I take my pins and I pin to get my ideal shape. And still with the pins, I didn't quite get the shape I got when I was simply pinching with my hands. There was some unwanted volume on the sides here, you know, at hip dip level. I tried several things. I basted my waist five centimeters from the edge of the fabric to make it narrower. And then when I tried basting to get a pure A-line skirt, I got the shape I wanted. So basically, please consider the white seam that is inside. First, I removed four centimeters of seam allowance at the waist. And then when I reached the hip line, I stopped with the four centimeters and I drew a straight line till the corner of the skirt. It would have been a good thing to cut the skirt in a bigger size, I guess, to get even more flareness at the bottom. That way I would have gotten a more accentuated A-line. But I'm making do with what I have now that I've already cut my fabric. And once I did this, this is how the fitting went. After that, I removed another centimeter because I like a snatched waist. Now that I'm satisfied, I'll sew over the basting seam with my final proper thread and stitch length. And I have to remove the basting threads, of course. This is what I got. Then I finished the edges with my overlocker. And finally, I'm going to add the waistband. I wanted to add this band here originally, but it's it's very firm. It's much firmer than my skirt fabric. And as much as I like a snatched waist, I don't want my waist to be squeezed. So I changed for this one, which is less firm, uh, although it's two centimeter wide instead of 2.5. To know how long I need to cut the elastic, I lay it on the skirt and I take the same measurements. I pinned and I actually tried having the elastic around my waist to feel if it was going to be uncomfortable or not. Then I planned one centimeter of seam allowance and I pinned and I sewed. I haven't cut yet because I'm afraid, I confess. <laughs> and also I want to be cautious these days when I sew because so many times have I rushed, I couldn't get asked taking off my clothes to try the half finished garments I was making. And then I faced the consequences of the thing fitting weirdly. So I folded to mark the middles with pins.
and finally I cut. I'm actually going to replace the pins because they are in the way of the overlocker. I withdrew the blade of the overlocker and I sewed the two layers together. This is what I got. I folded the waist so the elastic was hidden and I sewed on the right side on the side seam only. I'm good. It's okay. Finally, I was like, should I hem the skirt? I wasn't so convinced because of the type of, of fabric. So I tried anyway to show you one centimeter of hem and a straight stitch I picked. And this is what it looks like. What do you think, honestly? I didn't like it, so I removed it. And the second thing I wasn't sure of, but tried, was to sew the waistband with supposedly invisible stitches. Now, see the waist? Yeah, I don't like it. I made the stitches too tight and they're visible, so I replaced these tight ones with looser ones, and I was happier with the result. Now, my regret is that I ended up making the skirt too narrow, I think. On the front, it looks good, but on the back, my butt is just too tight. I would have liked it more flowy there. But yeah, I didn't really pay attention to the back when making all my adjustments. So hopefully that'll be a lesson for me and for you guys, in case you have a tendency to forget the back of your body too. I hope you learned some things with me today and I'll see you soon for other sewing tutorials.